Well, uh, welcome back to Hachi at, uh, at Red Rock. Um, it's a great night so far, to say the least. Uh, obviously, everybody's enjoying everything. So uh, our next handcrafted cocktail, we're going to go from a little more complex and refreshing to this is fun. Um, so you know, our whole philosophy here with the cocktails is, is trying to take what's pure about the cocktail um, and then tweak it a little bit, but still keep the kind of purity of it. And uh, so a lot of people around town have a, uh, have a sacatini. Um, everybody has their own kind of mix on it. Um, you know, for a restaurant like this, for sure, uh, it just obviously makes sense to go with the food. Um, so we'll kind of start off, and, and you'll see this is a fun, refreshing. It's still not as heavy as a lot of sacatinis, or, or a lot of sacatinis, I think, just have a ton of alcohol and kind of smack you around. Uh, again, this should still have balance and, and go with all of our other cocktails that have structure and acidity. And if it's sweet, it should have a little bit of heat behind it and, and so on and so forth. So uh, we're going to start off. So the first thing uh, Melissa is going to put in is uh, so fresh lemon. As, as in the Velvet Revolver, we had lime, which gave it acidity to your backbone. Well, in this one, obviously, it's the lemon. That'll give it nice acidity and nice backbone. Um, and then next, we're going to move into a passion fruit liqueur. Um, right in the middle, yep. So a nice passion fruit liqueur. Um, we actually take a, a liqueur ourselves, and then we take different passion fruits and uh, infuse it ourselves. Um, next, we're going to get into a sake. And so we take a, a June Mai sake. And then we actually take fresh lychees and we infuse it ourselves. Um, so it's not just your over the top, real kind of sweet, uh, sweet sake. And then last but not least, again, we take uh, fresh lychees and then make our own puree out of it. And we add a little bit of secret ingredient in there that, again, gives it a little bit of balance. Um, and then after the basic of it, and go ahead and shake it up, you're going to see we, uh, so you're going to get a little bit of sweet in the beginning. You're going to get a little bit of the lemon in the middle. Um, definitely some passion fruit kind of throughout. Um, and then after Melissa shakes it and makes it and does all the, the good things that she does, um, we're going to finish it off with actually um, cayenne pepper on top. And it's the same kind of philosophy as, as we have with the Velvet Revolver. So you get the sweet, you get the acidity, and then the, uh, and then the cayenne pepper kind of gives it a little bit of that heat and the, uh, and the depth that you would want out of a good drink. Yeah. I'll have two. Great color, it's not heavy and thick like a, a lot of Sacatinis, and again, it won't, it won't smack you around with just alcohol. So fresh lychee nut obviously in it, and then uh, that's the uh, cayenne pepper that I talked about. So that's our version of the, of the Sacatini, and we're going to get it to you straight away.